Every once in a while, I have an absolutely terrible time with a piece of aluminum. And I have that situation where, you know, I take like my scrap aluminum tubing to check my rig and I run a bead across here and the thing's welding great, you know, the tungsten's good, all that. And then I come over and weld on the part and it just won't weld. Like it won't. Uh, one major thing with this is one side of it is a double thick, super thick. And the other side of it, the actual bracket is paper thin. That's a little bit tough, but that, I think contamination is what causes the issue that I had where it just won't weld. It just wants to, you don't eat, you can't even get a sheen out of it. You know, I'm, I'm like looking for that sheen getting ready to, to dip rod and uh, it doesn't sheen and then it just blows away, gone. I just, uh, anyway, what ended up happening there, this is the second time I've done this, and this is a weird, weird thing to do, but it wouldn't weld, and I got it tacked up there just enough to go to the backside, and I took my spool gun on my Millermatic, I took my, uh, my 30A spool gun, uh, and aluminum mig, a gob of crap, on the opposite side and then flipped it over sanded it and tigged against that so what i was doing was i was using the gooby gob of mig wire that i put on the other side basically as a backing strip to uh tig weld against and that gave me enough material to float out the contamination so here's what we got it's welded up I ran a couple passes to run over everything that I had uh, messed with. I'm probably way wider than I need to be there. So I got it fixed. Um, you know, that trick with uh, using the MIG wire to get something on there, it worked. That's the second time I've, I've done that. So, anyway, what a hassle. Um, I was over an hour messing with those two little tabs. And that, you know, that if, if that would have cooperated, I could have welded those two tabs on there in less than 10 minutes. Um and in situations like that, too, when, when the aluminum wouldn't weld, uh, there's a lot of times in the past I, when I thought it was contamination, I would use different acids and vinegar and all that stuff to clean it, and even that didn't work. Um, but anyway, we got that welded up. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, remember, learn how to work with what you got. That way you always have everything you need. Thanks for watching NBS Welding.